the quest to build a pod, which is a minimal house for living in, within the South African context. The idea was to put two people together, the person with the, the body that has the land asset and the other one who just buys the product, the house. And you get a synergy between the two of them and you take your house with you because the house is demountable and re-erectable somewhere else. It was coming from the entire principle of to buy a house, it should nearly like buying a car where you can pre-order your finishes and the elements you need. You wait for four months and then you collect the house that is then installed on a site uh, with the minimal amount of time spent by builders in a site. When you enter, you get the first covered area, which is your lounge relaxation area, which is not enclosed because of our fantastic weather. Then firstly, you get the cooking and eating or conversation area. Okay. Well, this is the toilet with a wash basin designed with minimal space, just what you need in order for these functions and for you to be private from the rest of the space. And this is the space of transition, the shower, which has got a duckboard so that it is never wet. Uh, you don't have to step on it. Maximum, the wood is perhaps humid because you've just showered. But the water gets collect collected below in a st stainless steel pan. And the area underneath the pod, because the floor floats, can either have a water tank for recycling uh, the water. We are now sitting in the task room, which doubles up as either a storage area or a sleeping alcove for the friend that accidentally gets too drunk to go back home at night. If you climb the ladder through the rise that you get to the mezzanine, you now achieve a more security. And so the mezzanine could be used as either a quieter production area, sleep area, or uh, the area gains a quality of control because you are sitting above and you can oversee all your surrounds. So it was to find a, a, the optimization of form that one needs, the minimum that you need to live in, and rather express your life through enjoyment of the outer doors. It was also designed to be accessible to the youth within the first year of their working life, uh, instead of having to wait for a long time because of the amount of deposit that you need to put down before you buy property. It was actually built in five weeks, but the idea was to use only materials that were locally available and off the shelf, nothing imported. We did end up using one system, the Legrand plug system, because we enjoyed the flexibility. Prefabrication in a factory also implies an upward skill level of your labor force, which is something that I don't believe there is enough attention in this country for. Uh, prefabrication also implies a maximum 2% wastage in factory conditions, while when you are building on site, it uh, may imply 20-25% wage wastage of material or time, labor time of people. So those were all considerations that we took in terms of defining the structural system of the house. So all the labor and all the materials are local. That was the challenge that we put ourselves.